Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Sethum and welcome back to another video guide for Conan Exiles. Today in this video, folks, I'm going to be showing you all of the Tier 4 Thrall locations in the Mount of the Dead. So that would be absolutely everything that you can find in this area. Um, obviously, as you will see throughout the video, I will have found most of them with the exception of two which I struggled to get to spawn in. And this video has been put together throughout uh, a period of two days so it took me a long time to get these guys to spawn in even on fast respawns so i pretty much brought the respawn timer down to the minimum that you can and even so it took forever to get this video out so i hope you guys enjoy it. if you do please don't forget to support me on the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself and if you have just subscribed why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel who knows you might just enjoy them and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when i upload new videos and content and of course for those interested you can always find me on the Sethopia discord links to this of course you can find down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment from myself so with that out of the way as i said it took me forever to get these things to spawn in these thralls and one nice thing about the mount of the dead is you can find pretty much any sort of thrall that you are looking for if you are lucky enough some of them do spawn a bit more rarer than others so this is my location right now and the reason i'm pointing this out is because this took me a couple of hours to get done uh, you can get a fighter three here uh, but these over here are all spawn locations for named thralls so we got the Sumerian Berserker we've got a named Taskmaster we've got Dalincia Snowhunter and Ulrich the Mountaineer because a lot of people have asked about Ulrich the Mountaineer which is a uh, bearer with 9900 HP so this is where you find him basically just kill all of these guys all of these four characters here until you get a named thrall next up we have this guy over here, uh, Matthias Snowmelt, he is, of course, a smelter. It is a named Thrall, a tier 4. This is his location on the map. He may spawn in other areas, but this is where I have found him consistently. So that is why I'm showing this location. Uh, I will only include, of course, one clip of him. Next up, we have the Armorer, uh, Wreck of the Lost tribe right over here so he's at the entrance to a hut here is my location right here so you can find him right at the entrance inside you can find another sort of named thrall but i'll show that later in the video once i get him to spawn in so you can find one that spawns right here but it will be a blacksmith and i'll just have to press on until he spawns in next up we have an alchemist another named thrall people have been asking for generally a named alchemist is right here so whatever the experimenter i'm not gonna be able to pronounce that name but i'm not even gonna try this is my location he is inside a hut so i'm just gonna give you guys an aerial view of what the area looks like so you can come from there down that bridge around this way that bridge and then right here there is a cook that wanders around here as well that's where we started out the video as well so that's pretty much it. he's not that difficult to find he's right at the doorway do bear in mind when you come in everything will be of course hostile next up is Laniel or whatever her name is I probably butchered it because hey why the hell not this is a named performer she can be found right over here so this is the area that she seems to spawn in um, now do bear in mind that there is a chance of getting other named thralls here because it is quite random what you get so there's a archer right there and somewhere around this area I've noticed that there is I think let me just find the area um, it's kind of like somewhere around here just past this tree at the top so somewhere oh, I'm trying to find and remember the area I think it's this one right here there we go so there's always some sort of a uh, craftsman thrall so there's a possibility of getting a tier 4 thrall there as well next up we have the Sumerian Berserker this one is a guaranteed spawn and he will spawn basically in these waters so this is where you want to be looking for him this is my location right there uh, where, where did he go uh, where, uh, there we go 
So you will wander out of the water. So if somebody's been there before you, do bear in mind that you might have to search uh, a vaster area. I'll try and get him to spawn in the water to show you kind of his patrol path. He does have a patrol path, of course. So I knocked that guy out, uh, put it in a wheel of pain. And so now we have one that just comes out of the water and just wanders around the water. So you can walk in this water. It's not that deep. And as I said, this is my location, just as I told you before. And you do want to be prepared because these guys do hurt quite a decent amount. They are pretty powerful and decent and worth having as fighters. They don't have a lot of HP, but they do dish out a decent damage. Next up, another spot for a Sumerian Berserker that I know has a chance of spawning it in. Now over here you can get a, a tier 2 or tier 3 fighter. It's right here in this hut. Uh, there's the praying guy. I think you can also get Dalincia Snow Hunter here as well. I think I've seen her if I remember correctly spawning in there. So this is where the location is. I'm going to give you guys an aerial view right there. So this is the bridge that you come to to get to that little hut right there where the alchemist spawns. So yeah, there we go. Next up, we have Volfels the Hammer. Probably butchered that one as well. But this guy is a blacksmith, and his spawn location is basically in one of the entrances. So, uh, if you remember where we found the other thrall, so that's the little hut in the center, one on the side, and there's another hut right there that'll spawn something else that is a named thrall. So, over here, we had, I don't remember, uh, an armor over here that we got the named armor from. And inside at this thing, uh, we have the tier 4 Thrall. So right there on the map. So these are the three little huts. Uh, two little huts with one big hut in the middle basically. So there's your tier 4 blacksmith. Next up we have Nimble Fingers over here. Um, this guy is a carpenter. He did take a while to get to spawn in. But I got him eventually. Uh, you'll be surprised as to where he is. So if you remember correctly, previous guy was over there. We got this little big hut over here and we have this one on the side right here. Uh, he's in here by himself, generally speaking. Uh, just be careful how you aggro stuff. But there is a chance of getting this guy, which is a named carpenter. So my location on the map is right here. So in this area, there are at least three named thralls that you can get. Next up, we have this fellow right here, Mr. Stinkfinger. What a weird name. And this is your named Tanner or your Tier 4 Tanner. Uh, if you remember correctly, this is where we had Snowmelt. Uh, and then I think you can get a named Blacksmith there as well. Very rare, but you can get that. I think I've seen that happen. And so this is where he spawned. Just going to show you the environment. So to my right is where we found the performer right there and that's kind of it in terms of his location so there we go we have the tanner this guy is right here on the map just so you guys can see the location there we go Okay, so with that being said and done, there are two more thralls that you can get from this location, and that would be the named Archer over here, that you can see, and the named Cook, which I have not been able to get to spawn in whatsoever, but do keep an eye out for them. Uh, I have set up some wheels of pain outside, just so I can tame these guys up, so I can show you the ones that you can place outside so like your archers your fighters and all of those uh, what they look like and primarily what sort of hp they have i think that's uh, one of the things that interests me quite a bit with regards to thralls uh, and you'll see why in the next section so i'll pick these guys up i'll go to my brand new base location uh, and over here's a kind of like what i got from the spot i did look for armors and kind of try to see what things can drop from that area okay here we have the Valencia snow hunter thrall this is what HP she has she does do good as a fighter so worth picking her up if you can 
if she spawns in so here we have a named bearer now also i have somewhere in my inventory the named bearer that comes from the mounds of the dead uh right there so i'm gonna place him close to this guy i'm gonna have a look at what they look like and of course their hp now of course you can use these guys as fighters they do have a decent uh amount of space in their inventory as you can see it's got a ton of hp and they're okay they're they're really really good actually not as good as other thralls in terms of taking things down quickly but definitely worth getting and using if you get your hands on it over here we have the performer again very good hp really you can take this one out and use it as a fighter and you actually get the heal bonuses over here we have the Sumerian berserker this is what it gets in terms of hp and i think we also have an archer right here that i wanted to show so let's place this guy down somewhere like so so what i'd say with the performer i i, I haven't tested it out in terms of damage i don't know exactly how it fares compared to the other ones uh, here is the archer right there this is what he looks like once he's tamed uh, going back to the performer what i think you could do and i'm gonna give that a go and see what it what it works like uh is when you go into the unnamed city obviously you'll be taking corruption the performer will or does have the ability to heal corruption and heal you so if you equip the performer with heavy armor and some really good weaponry the question is can you use that as a tank against bosses i think that might work i think that might work i mean 5000 hp is more than enough to have on a thrall to be able to tank the world bosses i think um i'll give that a go and see how it works but that is it for this video folks i do hope that you have enjoyed it and found it useful and informative if you folks have please don't forget to support me on the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself and if you have just subscribed don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when i upload new videos and content and why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel who knows you might just enjoy them also for those interested you can always find me on the Southtopia discord links to this you can find down below in the video's description as well as a nip and comment for myself until next time stay safe folks